what is up guys this is a FNH news reviews uh, and tutorial and today I am here with a brand new tutorial on how to speed up your Firefox um, your Chrome browser right and this is the brand new version um, with the latest updates and all the new changes um, so yeah let's get straight into it alright so first before anything you want to make sure your Chrome is updated to the latest version okay so you may not think that's a big deal but um, you should always upgrade to the latest version it always has the new uh, it has the um, patches for the security vulnerabilities and it also has uh, uh, any performance updates as well okay so you should always keep those um, keep your browser updated to the latest version right um, it will help overall right? and even making other changes um, you might need to have your browser to the latest version for um, for it to help okay alright so that's number one the next thing um, I want to tell you guys is how to disable your extensions so you guys probably have a lot of extensions you can see over here um, over time they just add up right and um, you know you really don't pay attention to it like I have a whole list over here but what you want to do is if you're not using it make sure to uh, if you don't want to remove it but make sure to at least disable it okay like this one I don't know why I have it here so I can disable that right and you should see over here that it should be gone okay you can do that for a hidden but like I like to have it all shown and and so I know what I have installed okay like I don't need that I don't really need this either so yeah um, you should definitely I don't need these as well so yeah you should definitely um, disable these ones because when you load your browser this does take time to um, you know load and take the speed of your browser and what do you call it so yeah you should definitely have those disabled okay so and uh, if you don't want it just remove it that's even better okay Sorry, so next let's look at um, something called smooth scrolling, right? So smooth scrolling, you would want to go to the Chrome extensions. So let me just copy this. And let's just go to flags. So Chrome double slash flags. So if you don't know the previous one, it was Chrome slash extensions. All right, so this is experimental features ahead. Um, so be cautious. The thing is, if you you can always reset to default, and if you really do mess up that badly, all you need to do is uninstall Chrome and then reinstall, and everything will be back to default. So you can't mess up your computer by trying one of these. Okay, so yeah. All right, so now let's do um, smoother scrolling. Okay. So once we're in, f um, so the thing about this is some of the things I mentioned, you might not have it depending on, depending on which version of Chrome you have, right? And um, maybe you have a newer one or an older one, but some of it might not be available. Okay, so you can just ignore that one. Um, all right, so smoother scrolling. All right, and now we want to go uh, first. We would want to search um, smooth scrolling. You can type it in, and you can see it has the it automatically finds it. All right, so we want to change this to uh, what do you call it? We want to change it to enabled, not default. Okay, and I, I'm not going to do it here right now, but basically, you just change it to enabled right and then you would click relaunch now but um let's just do all of it and then we'll relaunch at the end okay so i i, I won't make the change so i'll just reset it to default all right so we have smooth scrolling we're done with that um the next thing we want to do is tab discarding okay so basically tab discarding is, it's an option that speeds up chrome um, by allowing tabs in the background to be discarded from memory. So if you have a lot of tabs to open, um, if you're one of those people that usually have like 10, 20 tabs, right? It's usually me. I usually have that. So those tabs, even though you're not using it, they still take up memory. So you want to use it efficiently. So 
to tabs that aren't there you would discard from memory uh, only if it's getting low so if you have a lot of memory it's not going to discard it from memory for um, just for fun so only if your memory is low it'll do it okay so let's look try to find that tab automatic tab discarding okay and then you would take that to enabled as well okay so yeah that's another thing okay and then um, another thing we want to search for is um, so I think we're done with the flags for now right and the next one we want to do is web apps so Chrome web apps so we can go to apps here you can see these are the apps I have I have typing scout YouTube Gmail slides Google Drive uh, web store so the docs sheets and slides are disabled because I believe I disabled it down here so the Chrome apps right so yeah these web apps also if you don't need it make sure you have them deleted or um, remove just removed all right that's the best option um, if you don't use it so make sure to clean that so that else okay so that's another thing uh, you want to make sure to do and yeah all right now the next thing we want to do is clear the cache okay so one way we can clear the cache is let me copy that paste and now we want to go to settings and see uh, clear browser data okay so here you can see you can go to the settings and find this also so you can see I have uh, cached images is 354 megabytes right and um, basically just if you want to delete it just delete it like that uh, clear data your history cookies also um, but the thing about this is um, you you uh, if you do that your uh, well, especially if you delete the cookies, your um, saved password will get deleted. Um, but if you have them saved, you'll have to autom you have to log in again. But they won't del be deleted permanently. So it's kind of I guess a hassle if you would call it. But um, it would definitely help because um, so I know some people that have like gigs over here, right? So that's just space used for no reason. Okay. So yeah, obviously you would want to delete that. Okay. So that's the cache all right so next we want to do we did the um the flag section and now we want to do pre in uh we want to enable prefetch resources okay so we're at the setting okay and we want to go to where is it settings and advanced options all right now so I'm just trying to find it here I think it should be here I think I'm not I'm missing it somewhere here let me just do control F. okay I'll just search over here huh okay I guess it's not here in this later or uh, um, latest re um, release okay let's look at um, resources okay so I guess I don't have it but um, basically you want to search for something called prefetch enable resources right um, so prefetch resources and you want to enable that okay so basically just go here search for it and if you do see it make sure it's enabled okay um, yeah I don't have it on mine but you guys definitely some of you guys definitely probably have it okay so make sure you enable that all right so now let's go oh, I believe there was one more flags one um, right so the flag ones was I believe two more flag ones. So let's. What was it? Um, canvas. So make sure accelerated 2D canvas is enabled. All right, it should be enabled by default, right? Um, so yeah, make sure that's enabled. Um, okay, and then the last thing we're gonna look at is fast tab. So fast. 
okay so over here so it enables fast tab window closing runs a tab on unload JS handler independently of the GUI so this is disabled and we want to enable it okay so enable so yeah you can do that and then um, basically make sure do all the changes restart the browser restart the computer if you even have to and then basically test it out see if it's any faster than before and if it is then just continue using it and if it doesn't work it's not faster and let's say it's even slower you can always do reset to default and it would go back to the previous settings you had okay um, so yeah it's, it's not really anything you should be afraid of doing right um, it's definitely worth looking into so this is part one of I, I, I believe I listed around 10 um, 10 different ways to make it faster um, in part two I'll just I'll, I'll show you guys another around 10 ways how to do it okay so make sure to st um, stay tuned for that and definitely check that out also and if you guys have any questions leave it down below in the comments um, if you have any comments leave it down below if you like the video make sure to like it don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys